Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here. Got another tutorial for you today. We're looking at the Chinese clover knot or you know, four leaf clover knot. And that's this one here. So this is another uh, nice you know, decorative single stranded knot. It's not too hard to do, but it took me a couple tries. So let's say it's intermediate. And uh, yeah, that's it. There's one side, there's the other side. So uh, that being said, let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so I got my paracord ready here. Got about a foot and a half, maybe two feet. You, want, you don't want too short of a piece, otherwise it'll be too hard to make. So we're gonna start out uh, by making an S shape like this. And then we're gonna take this bottom strand, I'm just gonna bend it upwards like that. We're gonna bend it around and over top that belly of that S. So you should be here. Okay. Then next, I'm just going to pinch that part there. So now next, I'm going to take this piece of string, or this piece of cord, and we're just going to loop, create a loop, and go through the belly of the S here. Like this. Okay. So this is where you should be now. From here, we're going to take the end of this cord here. We're going to go through this loop, over this one, under the second one, then over, over the next two, like that. And we're going to go through this loop here. Okay, so I should just pardon my fingers for a second. And then I'm going to pull all that through like this. And then now with this strand here, we're going to go back. We're going to go behind, behind all these, and go through this bottom right loop like that. Okay. And then from here, to finish it off, we're going to take the end of this strand and go over top this one underneath the middle two so these two underneath the middle two and through the top of that knot like that okay so I know this looks like a mess now but uh, we're basically done and now we just got to cinch all the excess cord out okay so let's do that now so go through this, um, you know, as slow as you can. Definitely don't get too impatient and just start tugging on all the strands because um, it could make a mess of your knot, and uh, you won't. You'll have to redo it because it'll be just too confusing. So as you can see, I'm just kind of holding the main part of the knot together while I cinch everything out. That. Okay, pull that there. So yeah, take your time and uh, get all the excess out. Now, of course, you could um, you know tie the knot much smaller. That way, you don't have to worry about all this excess cinching. But uh, just for demonstration purposes, I made the loops extra big so you can see, you know, exactly what I'm doing, right? Now this one goes here, so you can start to see our clover knot forming, right? So I'm just going to continue cinching, you see you can start, it's really starting to form up. I'm going to continue cinching all the excess out and uh, we will be finished, right? So I'm just going to finish that up and we'll be done. All right, there we have it, guys. We're done. So as you can see, I've cinched out all the slack in the knot. It's nice and tight now. It looks great. There's the other side. So yeah, if you don't get this one on the first try, definitely just uh, you know give it another go. It took me a couple tries to get this one. And uh, yeah, hope I've explained everything clearly and concisely. If there's any uh, difficulties or issues, definitely do leave a comment down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. 
I want to thank you guys for watching. Please do check out the uh, links down below for any and all related videos and links uh, about Weavers of Eternity. And uh, if you haven't already, please do like, share, and subscribe. That would really help me out. And that's about it, guys. Thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you on the next tutorial.